to today's video. Today is Operation to try and get some of some more of our Christmas stuff off our list. I have like I'm a lazy girl. I'm a last minute Lucy. I'm just I'm not normally lazy. I'm just so busy doing stuff all the time. I'm just not a shopper. Anyway, we're headed out to try and knock off a lot more of our stuff. I have a list. It should be easy, right? Well, I hate shopping. Anyway, we're headed out. We didn't bring the girls. We're going to the tech store because you guys know our life revolves around our horses. So we're headed there. What do you want to get at the tech store, Sam? Uh, I need shavings and I need a uh, new salt lick for Gino. He eats his. He eats his. Powdery. Too powdery, that one. So maybe we should get like the Himalayan rock one. The one Honey has is working yeah, really good. Yeah, the one that, yeah, the one with the, that you can put in that thing now. Yeah. It's pouring rain right now and the horses were in the field. The, the ponies were in the indoor, outdoor. Like they were in the, in the winter paddock and they just stayed in the arena. They did not even attempt to go outside because of the rain. And we tried keeping the bigger horses out in the field. We're like, you can do it. We moved the shelter so it's like more accessible for you. It's all good. You guys can handle this. We know you can handle it. Be like a horse. Be like a real horse and just go to the shelter. Go to the shelter. And when the rain started, we were all watching them out the window. And we're looking at them and they're looking at the house. They're looking at the barn and we're looking at them and we're looking at the shelter and we're like, Go to the shelter, go to the shelter, and guess what they did? What did they do, Sam? They're out the rain. They did not go to the shelter. They like we we train them that if it, if it's bad weather they can go in. So anyway, all the horses are in because it's raining. They have the option to go in and out if they want to, obviously. But I want them to be in the big field. I want them to like spend more time outside. But I'm conflicted and I want to know what you guys have to say about it. I get so many conflicting opinions from people in our comment section and I love hearing all the different points of views and there are a lot of different points of views. Some people say let a horse be a horse, they need to be out and they need to be running and yeah I agree with that 100%. And then other people are all for taking care of the horses the way that you would take care of your other pets. Don't leave them out in the bad weather, bring them in if you can. And and I want to know what you guys think. I know like it can be so different for everyone. If, if you have 22 horses, you're not going to blanket them all. You're definitely not going to blanket them all. Today I watched a video online where it was like a blizzard outside and this farm had like about 22 horses and they were all just standing there in the snow. They all had their backs to the wind. You don't know how that's how they like make themselves feel more comfortable. Covered in snow and you could tell they were so miserable. So miserable. So yeah, they have the ability to keep themselves warm in bad weather and take care of themselves in bad weather. I understand all the mechanics of that, but should they have to if we can provide them a better, drier, warmer alternative? I'm so conflicted. I don't know what is right. And I think for us, what's right has to be whatever your lifestyle is set up to be. We're home all the time. We can go and bring them in when they want to come in. We don't they don't have to get used to being out in bad weather. And so it works for us. But for people who are at work all day and also have horses, then it would be it would be so much more difficult for them. So I get it. I think for me, that's why I've adopted the live and let live policy. Do you believe out in this town. the power's out. What do you believe, Sam? Live and let live? Uh, I believe in uh, your horse, you don't have to worry about <laughs> Board your horse so you don't have to worry about it, anything. All right, change of plans. We're turning around. We're going home because all the power is out in town. And so I called the girls and I said, did the power go out? And they said, yeah. And I said, oh, sorry about your luck because they were taking like forever to get ready. They still both need to have a shower and get dressed. And so they weren't ready to go when we were ready to go. So I said, sorry about your luck. Too bad you didn't come. And they said, please, can you come back and get us? There's no power, nothing for us to do. We want to come shopping with you. So we're going back to get our girls. All right, so uh, we are at the tax store. Oh, I need to, I love that blanket actually. And I think that, is it warm? Well, if the horse wet, it's dry. I mean, our horses, horse like I just on. told you guys. The horse is dry. Yeah, the horse is dry. It's a nice warm hat. So we are Christmas shopping at the tech store. I'm gonna let the girls pick out what they want. All right, so I know Gabby wants a new one of these for Chino. Hi right, guys, I came into the tech store. I'll show you what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get it for Chino. So I usually buy 
this salt block for Gino, but he's been like chopping it up like crazy. So I'm going to get him this rock saw and it fits right into the holder. It's supposed to fit right into the holder. Let's try that again. So I'm going to get this rock salt here. Himalayan salt brick. And it fits right into the... It fits right into the holder anyways. Yeah, so I'm going to get that this time for him. And hopefully that will last longer than these little salt bricks. This is the tank de acer that I usually use and I think I might buy one as a spare because they don't last very long. So yeah, I'm going to get one of these as a spare too. These are cool. What could I use that for? Don't know. These are cool too. Put it around uh, Sophie's neck so I know where she is all the time. So essentially we are shopping for Christmas stuff that the girls really want. All right, so I got a bunch of stuff. I hate when the things that are on your list are not in the store because then you have to figure out how you're gonna get them. The weather is bonkers, you guys. Then wants to throw Christmas throw balls, balls at, at, at people at the Santa Claus parade. <laughs> <laughs> throw kisses. Uh, I don't know. I'm thinking candy canes. But they would roll. Imagine throwing these at the Santa Claus parade. I like Sophie really wants one of these pre-made gingerbread Maybe. houses. And then Maybe. you buy all the stuff that you want to decorate it with. And here's the icing. Or you can make one. I was thinking about doing this on Christmas Eve. Like doing uh, gingerbread houses. I want pink. So I'm looking for... Um, hot chocolate. They have candy cane hot chocolate here. So, oh my gosh, look at all this. Candy cane hot chocolate, creamy hot chocolate, salted caramel, peanut butter crunch. Okay, I'm gonna get a bunch. Sam said that for Christmas I should get one of these containers for Gabby and then fill it with like her favorite kind of hot chocolate. Isn't that such a good idea? We're gonna try three different kinds of hot chocolate. Candy cane, s'mores and we're gonna do the peanut butter crunch okay so I bought a whole bunch of different kinds of hot chocolate I bought apple cider uh, peanut butter crunch hot chocolate which I think is gonna be gross also candy cane hot chocolate which is white which I love I just had it for the first time oh my gosh it's amazing and then I got score hot chocolate and then I bought crushed candy canes I'll show you I just bought a little bit of them because it's only good for one kind of hot chocolate and I'm gonna buy some whipped cream at the grocery store just now we're gonna go there right now and we're gonna have like a variety of hot chocolate. You were dying in the back as soon as I started yeah, videoing. Yeah, I was choking on my own spit. Choking on her own spit. But anyway, I thought like for me, I, mostly it's for Gabby. Gabby is our hot chocolate connoisseur. Sophie doesn't really like it. I like it occasionally. I like apple cider occasionally too, but it's mostly for Gabby. And for me, making Christmas special by doing like special fun things like this, having an experience, even though it's food, um, for us, it's like it's just a fun thing. And that's what Christmas is about for me, like making it fun. All right, so tomorrow is our Santa Claus parade, you guys. Let's, we should, I guess it's too dark to put this on her and try it. So this week I've been putting jingle bells on Willow's boot. We're also going to put this bow on her. This is willow stuff. Sam, I got more salt licks. Hopefully those will last longer because Chino chews through them. Yeah, Chino chews through them. I think you should just got them a stone and put it on the ground. Also, this blanket that Willow's going to wear, um, I put these... Actually, I don't know if I can leave this in here because the batteries will go dead if they get cold. Should we take this back up to the house? I don't know. I asked my iPad in the and it didn't die. Anyways, this is like the stuff that I've been getting ready this week. Oh, we're bringing Elizabeth with us. She's able to come. So I have to try and figure out if I can get a, sign up another animal to go with us because she's going to want to bring somebody. Oh, it's dark. Our, 
I know, we all love this part, even Ruby. Oh, honey. Ruby's like, play with me. She goes to her stall. She just goes to her stall. <laughs> Ruby goes with her. Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh oh. Where are you going? She smells molasses. So, some people say that we should always have a lead rope on her because you're always training your horse even when you're not training your horse. So, the thing is, is that we actually want her to do that. We're actually training her to walk into the stall because that's what we do with all of our horses. That's what we want them to do. Um, she Might not be on. right for you, but it's right for us. Yeah. All right. So, this is the other bag of stuff. So, um, that's Willow's costume. And then Gracie is going to have one of these things around her neck. I'm thinking probably this thing because I love those balls. She's going to be wearing a western sat because our friend is going to ride her in uh, Santa Claus Parade. So um, I, I washed uh, English red saddle pad for her, but she's actually going to do western. So she's going to use this one and it's red, so it will work. Also hoping that she's going to wear our Santa Claus outfit so she'll be like, um, Santa Claus riding on a horse. So I thought that would be super cute. Sophie, who do you want to, what, who will Elizabeth bring? I would say Honey, but... Yeah, Honey's too small. The, the dogs, our guard dogs have detected... <laughs> have detected a stranger. Sophie, let her in! Sophie! Gummy! Gummy, are you there? She's not there. No. <laughs> Gabby's in the shower. Sam always locks the door with this thing in, when it's really windy. Yeah. Our power actually went out tonight. Yeah, that's why we went shopping with them. Yeah, we went shopping in case we had to eat in town because we didn't have power. But we're actually eating at home tonight. Is the oven still on? Alright, so I think we're ready for the parade. Do you think we're ready for the parade? Do you think we're ready for the parade? Yeah. What's okay, I, I I don't have it. Oh, I don't have anything for Molly to wear. You said a bow. All right. Yeah, we'll put a bow on her. I don't know if I have a bow. <laughs> All right. That seems less. This is so good. This seems. Ew. Let me try it. It's harder. It might last longer. Mmm. It's so good. I think I need some salt in mine. Diet, yeah. I also forgot to mention that Gracie's going to be wearing this. So Gracie's going to be wearing the red saddle pad and this. So she's going to be a reindeer. And then she's going to hopefully have a Santa Claus riding her. And then hopefully in here somewhere. I, well, here's a bowl. Molly could wear that. We're not totally prepared yet. And that's okay. We still have the morning. It's tomorrow afternoon. Chino hasn't noticed. Look. 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 It's a new one. Oh, he notices now. I know I told you guys before, but the Santa Claus parade thing is such a dream for me. If this parade goes well, then we're going to like go all out next year. If this parade goes well, I want to get like a, a trailer that we can decorate and Sam can pull in the, in the parade and then our horses can ride behind it and we'll maybe all ride next year. I don't know. I'm excited about it though. Like so excited. Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the way